In order to solve a crossword puzzle, it really does help to have a large vocabulary. On the other hand, many people use crossword puzzles in order to help build their vocabularies. What this means is they will probably look up words that they don't know and then have it ready for the next puzzle they do. And what you find in a lot of puzzles, particularly the North American regular quick puzzles, is that there are words that you probably wouldn't come across in standard conversation. But because they are short words, perhaps use unusual letters, they are very often used to fill in a crossword grid. For example, though, do you know what an alb is? I mean, I didn't until I started doing some crossword puzzles. But it's a three-letter word. It fit, fits into a lot of places when you've got nothing else that'll go. And it's a white vestment worn by clergymen. Or what an obi is, O-B-I. It's a sash, a Japanese sash, worn around a kimono. Another one that comes in quite often is Etna, the Sicilian volcano. And that is beloved of crossword composers because all of the letters in it, E-T-N-A, are common letters. So it will very often fit into, into, a, into a grid. Another one that comes up quite often is a city in Czechoslovakia. It's called Brno. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but it's spelled B-R-N-O. And can sometimes get a composer out of a tight, tight spot. Right, after you've been doing crosswords for a while, you'll find the same words that come up. And you'll see this word and you think, oh, that, that's Alb, or that's Obi, or that's Brno. Or it's an insect, a gnat, G-N-A-T.